We've made a couple of changes here. We have closed our morning drop-in program. Uh, we just want to ensure that people are safe, so we don't want people coming into that program. That's closed for the foreseeable future. And then we've also made some significant changes in our grocery program and that we've gone to an expedited process, basically three minutes. Two people come into the food bank at a time. They register in. We give them a little pickup slip. They go to, the, to our pickup door. They get a prepackaged grocery order, uh, which, which should do them about three weeks. So it includes meat and vegetables, fresh, uh, fresh, fresh produce, um, along with all of the various dry products and canned products and breads. So trying to feed as many people as we can and provide as much food as we can during this period. In the last couple of days, we've seen about 40 new clients who have never used our service before. And so, we're, so I'm sure we're starting to feel the effects of building of uh, businesses that have uh, had to close for various uh, COVID-19 reasons. And, uh, and you know, so some people are living on the edge, right? Paycheck to paycheck. And so if you take away that paycheck, We've got people who are in need of food right away. So we're starting, we've seen about almost 40, a little more than 40. And I anticipate in the months to come that those numbers will grow pretty rapidly. What I'm really looking for right now from the community is I'm not looking for food donations from individuals or for pers I'll call them personal food donations. I'm looking for businesses that you know have access to food and they would like to make a corporate donation to the food bank of food, that would be fantastic. From individuals, I'd like you to go online to our, to our website, buryfoodbank.org, make, make, make a donation, and that will allow us to purchase food locally from local grocery stores to, to buy the food that we actually need right now to feed those people who are in need. I'm anticipating that we're gonna see a 15% increase in our demand over the next few months. And uh, we're in a pretty good position to be able to handle that. But if, but if we could raise a couple hundred thousand dollars in the next couple of months, that would make a huge difference to the people that are coming to the food bank. It is also safer for everyone. We're supposed to stay home. Some of us are essential services, the food bank being an essential service. Uh, we need to be here to feed those people who are in need. And so we want to ensure that we have the food to be able to do that. Your donations make a huge difference for us to be able to call up Joe's No Frills, call up one of the other grocery stores, pick up the product right from their store, right here. It's on a pallet. There's not a lot of handling of the food. And so we know it's safe, and we can give that out to our clients right away. For all of our clients right now, we've really expedited the process. We're ensuring that people uh, follow the, the uh, social distancing protocols. We don't want people lining up ahead of time. Because the process is so quick, there's no need for anybody to line up. Literally, you are here for three minutes. And uh, so you can come anytime between 1 and 3.30. And like I've said, in the last few days, we've, in the last four, five serving days, we've served 450 people. So 450 orders have gone out. And a lot of times it's not a lot of work. The work for us is ahead of time preparing them. The actual distribution is very simple. And so you don't need to line up, bring an ID, don't, you know, practice social distancing. And, and if you have any symptoms, call us. We have a couple of organizations that we can work with to deliver those pro grocery orders to you. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon, from 1 until 3.30 in the afternoon, we'll continue to do our grocery orders. I don't get this opportunity often enough just to say thank you. And so thank you to, the, to all of you who are making donations online, businesses who are making, you know, today we had farmers come in and, and make donation of potatoes. We had uh, different companies dropping off food for us. So thank you for making a difference in the lives of people that you will never get the opportunity to meet, but you are certainly changing those people's lives.